Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, some pretty busy weather over the next several days. We have the high wind advisory for Thursday, bitter cold on Friday. We're talking about wind chill temperatures Friday morning near zero and a little bit of accumulating snow by Saturday evening. Let's head outside. We're still holding on to clear skies, but for not much longer, clouds will be streaming in and eventually some rain showers overnight, maybe mixing with a few snow showers. Not until really the pre-dawn hours, so staying dry for the next several hours. North Situate clear and uh, chilly now. Temps are in the 30s in most locations. 31 Smithfield, 33 Providence, uh, Newport at 34. But uh, temperatures in the atmosphere should inch up a little bit, so by the time the precipitation arrives later tonight, it's mostly rain showers. But a few wet snowflakes can't be ruled out the northern part of the state. Smithfield now still clear with the temperature coming in at 30 degrees. So showers overnight into the pre-dawn hours. I'm thinking it's ending around 9 o'clock in the morning. That high wind advisory for Thursday. Winds at times out of the northwest gusting 40 to even 50 miles per hour. And I don't anticipate any kind of widespread outages, but wind gusts of that magnitude, there may be a few sporadic ones. Saturday storm system. This is not a blockbuster, not a huge amount of snow, but some small accumulations. This is late Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. A change over to rain later Saturday night. And that would tend to limit accumulations. But the early call on this is maybe anywhere from one to three inches of snow before that change to rain, and then things drying out um, for Sunday. So you see the precipitation in the Hudson Valley of New York, and this is tracking east and northeast, arriving here during the overnight. Should end around 9 a.m. The rest of the day on Thursday should be windy, dry, and cooler. You see chilly temperatures on top of us right now, but the outbreak of real cold air, boy, you're going to notice it, especially by Friday morning across the northern plains. That is headed our way and seeing signs of next week the temperatures actually running well below average getting real close take a look at the forecast overnight here comes the shower activity and a little bit of wet snow this is five o'clock in the morning rain showers the blue in the northern part of the state indicates a few wet snow showers temperatures in the 30s lingering rain showers at eight o'clock in the morning by mid to late morning most of this is gone we start to see some breaks of sun in the afternoon and the uh, second half of the day looks drier very windy and temperatures eventually dropping quite a bit by late day, setting up for a very cold Thursday night and especially on Friday. So any early morning showers on Thursday ending by 9 a.m. starting off in the 30s, a mix of clouds and sun, cool, very windy tomorrow afternoon, gusts at times over uh, 40 miles per hour. Seven day forecast, very cold on Friday. Look at that. 28 degrees, wind chills in the morning near zero. Now here's Saturday. The morning looks dry, a little sun to start the day. Uh, some snow arriving by late afternoon and early evening. The transition over to rain later in the evening and during the overnight. That should limit accumulations to about one to three inches. Back to dry weather, windy and cool conditions on Sunday with a mix of clouds and sunshine in a high temperature near 40. I think once we get beyond, say, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, showers ending. But for the early morning commute, the roads should be wet. This would be good for ski country this week. Right. Northern New England getting quite a bit of snow out of this, probably six plus inches. Wow. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Tony. Can we go?